a beautiful, beautiful day. If you need to, get some last minute coffee. We've got ooh, just a few more minutes before we dive into our day. And we're actually gonna start, I wanna start sideways, but just to kind of get a feel for when class does start. I'm gonna be at an angle, and I want these two hands on either side of my legs. They can be, if you have a yoga mat, maybe just outside the width of your yoga mat, and that's gonna make a lot more sense here in a couple seconds. But that way, they're just set up and ready to go when we need them. We won't need them too terribly much, but it'll be just nice and convenient to have them ready. So again, a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. As I say in the beginning of every video, so I apologize if it's redundant, but just again, for safety, making sure we're standing up nice and tall, long spine, shoulders are down and back, relax that neck as best we can, especially when we get into core work today. The core is on, you know, it's Pilates, and those hips are in neutral. So again, if you have low back and injury, it's grumpy today, maybe we slept on it funny. If neutral still doesn't feel safe, just give me that little tuck into imprint. So just over protect, especially until I can see you in class again to kind of make those hands-on adjustments and see what's going on with our body. So especially true if, for example, we're lying down and you notice, oh, my back just feels grumpy. Just kind of do a little body scan and just ask yourself, of, am I in neutral right now? Or am I anterior tilting and pushing the tops of these hip bones towards the sky? If so, pull it back to neutral, and if neutral still doesn't feel good, just go ahead and tuck just a little bit, curling that tailbone up to the sky to, again, protect that back. Perfect. And of course, we'll do modifications and such in class as we get going, but these are just some kind of rules of thumb to keep in mind as we go through class, especially, like I said, since I can't see you, so if you're feeling things in your body that don't feel comfortable, just kind of go through that mental checklist that we just talked about. But let's go ahead and get started with our day. So like I said, we're going to start seated. Again, props are optional. You don't have to have them. And I'm going to just sit nice and tall. My legs are going to be straight. I'm going to dorsiflex my feet. So pointing those toes up to the sky. My spine is going to be nice and tall. Shoulders roll down and back. Arms forward. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale. And as I exhale, I'm going to scoop my core up and in as I dive forward towards my toes as far as you can. And that's okay if you don't get very far, that's fine. Just try to really focus on scooping and hauling that tummy up and in, and then stacking that spine up one vertebrae at a time. So we'll try that again. So exhale, diving forward as far as we can. Inhale, rounding up and in, and then stacking that spine nice and tall. Again, exhale, rounding and diving forward as far as you can. Inhale, stacking that spine up. And then again, rounding, round, round, round forward. Stretch, 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 stretch. Keep these feet dorsiflexed. And then inhale, up, 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 up. Stack our spine straight. Now for this last one, let's try adding a little bit of rotation. So again, diving forward, dive, 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 dive. Inhale, pulling that core up and in as I stack up. And I'm going to start by going to the left as far as I can. Both of my sit bones are still on the floor. Come back to center. Again, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, scooping, stacking, lifting. And I'm going to go to the right as far as I can. Come back to center and repeat. So we're just kind of stretching and warming up the body this morning, getting that spine all nice and mobile, getting our neck engaged as we get that nice rotation. <sighs> Perfect. Good. And then to the right. Don't worry, we're just going to do one more on the left, one more on the right, and then move on. Dive forward, stack up, 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 up. Last one to the left. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Those fingers to opposite walls. Back to center. Dive forward. And then stacking on up. And then going to the right. Come back to center. Now, if you need to, you can put your hands behind you. I'm just going to do a nice lay down. Again, how's our hips? Is it neutral? Arms are going to come overhead and stretch, stretch, stretch. 
to the wall behind me, but still keeping shoulders down back in the socket. Tuck my chin slightly, nice deep inhale. Exhale, start to curl up one vertebrae at a time, keeping those legs nice and straight, and then stack up. And then again, curling down, 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 using these abdominals to melt back down on the floor. And again, exhale, coming up one spinal vertebrae at a time before stacking up, and then melting down from these lower lumbar spinal vertebrae all the way to my cervical spine and my skull. Now, if this is as far as you want to go, stay here. Otherwise, I'm going to dive all the way forward again before coming up and stacking up. So just getting that full range of motion. Again, completely optional. You don't have to do it if it doesn't feel good for you and your body. So coming up and either stopping here or coming all the way forward before we pull up, stack up, and then melt back down. And I'm melting from my spinal column, trying to go one vertebrae at a time, or maybe our back feels tight today. And we're just doing, you know, like in clumps, like three at a time. That's okay. Beautiful. Now the next time I come all the way up, I'm gonna stay here. So come all the way up in whatever version you chose to do. Now ideally, the arms aren't touching the ground. So we're gonna sit up tall, hips in neutral. But if you need to, that's fine. We can put our hands on the ground if we need to. Otherwise, put them on your hips, genie arms, wave to your neighbors, that's fine. But now I'm gonna take my right leg, lift it up and move it over my prop and back in. So lifting and making little rainbows up and over my prop. So I'm just kind of warming up these legs, getting those hips nice and warmed up. You can dorsiflex or pointer flex, whatever feels good for you. So, and again, both of my hip bones are staying in neutral on the ground, core is on. And again, if you need to, put those hands back there, kind of lean back a little bit. If your hip flexors are getting a little grumpy, kind of gives you a little bit of extra wiggle room to work with. <sighs> One more. Perfect. Now, we're gonna do the left leg. So we're gonna lift it up and over, up and over. Perfect. For those of you who are taking class with me before, you know what's coming next, but you know, we're just gonna ease into this. Perfect. And again, just nice deep inhales, deep exhales, hands back here if you need them. And if not, that's fine. Perfect. Again, four more. Beautiful. <sighs> Excellent. After my last one, now I'm gonna bring my legs together and I'm gonna glue these legs together so they move as a unit. You might wanna put your fingertips behind here or the palms of your hands, just try not to kind of sink back into them. So now both legs lift up, go to the left, come back up, pop down in the center, and then up and over. So now I'm making double rainbows with my legs, with my core, and these hands are back here just lightly on the mat to stabilize. So again, I'm not just leaning back and turning all of these muscles off and I'm doing all that good work that we just turned on and activated. <sighs> Perfect. So one, two, one, two, and then back to center. If you need to stretch it out. Oh my goodness. Hopefully that felt amazing. <sighs> so now I'm going to set these aside and come onto my side. All right. My knees are going to be bent into tabletop. I'm going to glue my knees together. Super important. These knees aren't going anywhere. My bottom shoulder is down and back in the socket and I have what I like to call a little mouse house. My ribs and my tummy are up off the floor, core is engaged, hips and shoulders are stacked. My top arm is on top of, right arm is on top of the left. Take a nice deep inhale and as I exhale, bend this right elbow as I rotate and stretch to the right. But notice how my knees are still stacked one on top of the other. I'm not letting my hips collapse, keeping them stacked, and then come back to center. Stretch and rotate, try to reach, 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 grab the wall behind you, and then bring it back. Beautiful, we're gonna do two more. So reach and stretch and rotate, 
back to center, last one. Bending, reaching, stretching, rotating, back to center. <sighs> Before we just roll on to the other side, that'd be lame. Let's come onto our back. Your arms can go to a T-wing, or if you want, overhead or down by your sides, whatever feels comfortable. Knees are still glued together. And as I exhale, I'm gonna rock my knees to the right, keeping my left arm and left shoulder on the ground. So I don't want this to pop up. Keep it nice and down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rock to the left. Again, keeping my right shoulder down. Inhale, back up. And now let's try as the knees rock to the right, look to the left. And again, shoulder down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. Inhale, back up. Give me one more to the right, one more to the left, and then we'll move on. Beautiful. All right. Now, you're going to roll on the other side. I'm going to do a spinner room just so we can all still see one another. Again, bottom shoulder down, legs and tabletop. Glue these knees together. They're not going anywhere. Again, where's my mouse house? Are my ribs and tummy up off the floor? Perfect. Shift the hips and shoulders still stacked. Nice deep inhale, exhale, bend my left elbow and rotate left as far as I can. And then with my nice inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, bend and rotate again. Keep those knees stacked one on top of the other. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend and rotate. Again, try not to let those knees collapse. Perfect. I'm just going to do two more. Just keep it nice and easy. I rotate and then back. And then inhale, exhale, rotate and back. Now this next one's super fun. These are called paint brushes. So I'm going to lay on my back. Perfect. Now, I'm going to keep my hips in neutral, and both legs are going to start long. So, I want you to imagine the paintbrushes taped onto the ends of your feet. This will make a lot more sense in a minute. So, you can either put your hands behind your head to support your neck, so we're going to do a chest lift and hold, or the arms can go long. So, we'll inhale, exhale, chest lift up. Now, I'm going to bend my right knee, lift the left. This is my start position. From here, extend the right leg up. As you draw it to the floor, pull the left knee in, and then again, as I extend, I'm pressing those legs out, and I'm trying to make a nice circle as I do this. So I'm imagining that I'm touching my paintbrush to the ceiling and pulling it down the wall towards the floor with each of my feet. So I'm just making these nice circles, getting deep into those core muscles, and again, I don't have to worry about stopping at tabletop for this. I'm more concerned about making a giant circle with my legs to get these core muscles on. Your hip flexors might talk to you a little bit, depending on how grumpy they are. And again, hands can come behind the head if you need that support. We're just going to do four more. How does that sound? <sighs> Beautiful. After my fourth one, <sighs> Come on down. Again, if you need to, rock it out. Your back's feeling grumpy. Now, my favorite part of class, so I'm not going to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's keys or tools day. So, legs nice and long, arms straight, nice deep inhale, exhale, teaser up, and then come on down. And again, inhale, exhale, teaser up. If you need to, like me, because your hamstrings are super tight today, keep those knees bent. And I know for some of us, we have that low back. So if you need to grab the back of your legs and use your arms to help pull that back straight as we get to the top of our teaser. So for example, as I come up, hands are gonna find the back of my thighs and help pull me up into that teaser. Perfect. So I know some of us have that grumpy low back and this is just gonna help protect it. Two more and then we'll take a break. So again, teaser, however, feels good for you. Of course, as always, being as slow as possible as we come up and as we come down. <sighs> now, if you need to shake it out, because we're not done teasering it up, <laughs> that'd be too easy. So now, 
The next time I tease her up, I'm going to do what's called heel beat. So tap, tap, and then come down. So tease her up, tap, tap, and then come down. We're just going to do three more. Tease her up, tap, tap, those heels, come down. Tease her up, this is number two, tap, tap, come on down. <sighs> tease her up, tap, tap, and then come down. Again, if we need to, take a little break. We're now gonna shift our focus from the legs of our teaser to the upper body. So again, teaser up, pause, give me two, hug a trees, and then come down. <sighs> and again, if we need to, use those arms to pull us up, and then raise and lift those elbows as an alternative. So if we can't teaser up without grabbing the legs, that's a good alternative. So if you need to, tease her up, lift, lower, lift, lower, and then come down. One more, tease her up, hug a tree twice, and then <sighs> melt down. Beautiful. From here, I'm gonna turn just a little bit. Feet are flat on the ground, hips neutral, shoulders rolled down and back, arms on the mat, nice deep inhale, exhale, hinge up and down. Hinging bridge up and down. And if you like articulating better, go for it. Like I've mentioned before, it just bothers my low back, so that's why I never do it, but you are free to do what feels good for you and your body. Give me three more. So three, two, and our last one. Now we're gonna add on, optional. So the next time I bridge up, lift my right leg up for a lower, a lift, set down, come down. Hinge up, left leg up, lower, lift, set down, come down. Perfect. And again, if we don't want to do the lower and lift, you don't have to. You can just hinge up and down. If you'd like, you can add a little pulse to that hinge. So for example, you could hinge up, pulse, pulse, and come on down. Last one, up, lower, lift, set the foot down, come down. Hinge up lift, lower, lift, and then set down. If you need to, shake it out, take a little break, because we're not done. So again, making sure hips are in neutral, shoulders down and back, bridge up, march, march, and then come down. And then bridge up, march, march, and come down. Now, if that's as far as you want to go today, stay here. Otherwise, I'm gonna add on. So now, when I've bridged up, my legs and tabletop go out, in, out, in, set down, come down. Bridge up, leg to tabletop, out, in, out, in, come on down. Perfect, we're just gonna do one more on the right, one more on the left, and then we'll be done. So up and out, in, out, in, set that leg down, come on down. If you need to, hug those legs to your chest, rock it side to side, or if you need a little bit more of a stretch, come up, prayer pose the feet, and round forward. Stretch it out however it feels good for you and your body. Now, we're gonna find our props again, and we're gonna come to a kneeling position. If that hurts your knees, go ahead and just sit with your booty on your heels, Otherwise, I'm going to come up to kneeling with my props. Hips are neutral, so the booty and the legs are engaged. My core is on, and I have a prop in either hand. From here, stand up first, kneel up. Nice and tall, shoulders roll down and back. I'm going to start with my hands a little bit in front. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, chest expansion back. Hmm. Yeah, one of those things we've done on the reformer before. So pulling back and then forward. Pull those arms straight back and forward. And again, if we need to, we can be down here. That's a-okay. So just pulling those arms straight back and forward. Keeping the shoulders down and back in the socket. Keeping those scapulas right against the rib cage. <sighs> and feeling, as the name implies, that nice expansion through the chest as the arms go all the way back. Perfect. Now, the next time I send my arms back, pause two pulses 
and then forward. So pulse, pulse, and then forward. Pulse, pulse, and then forward. Ah, oh, beautiful. Two more. Pull straight back, pulse, pulse, forward, straight back, pulse, pulse, forward. From here, the arms are going to come out in front. And I'm just going to do a low row, pulling in and then back out. So again, I'm pulling in, keeping those hands towards my chest, kind of in that area below your sports bra and above your belly button, so kind of this area. And then as I press out, so really pulling in and in and in and out, 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 elbows skimming the sides of the body. Two more. And out. Pull all the way in and out. For this next one, I'm going to do a single arm row with a rotation. Mouthful to say. Basically, if the left arm is pulling in, I'm rotating to the left and back to center. If the right arm pulls in, I'm rotating to the right and back to center. But notice my hips aren't coming with me. They're staying straight ahead. So I'm not moving all of me, just the upper body, getting that lovely disassociation of upper and lower body. Perfect. And again, if you're on your hips, this is a lot easier because those hips aren't going anywhere. They're already stuck. Perfect. So one more on the left, one more on the right. Perfect. If you need to, depending on how heavy that was, set it down. Shake it out. Oof. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to grab my props again. Arms straight ahead, shoulders down and back. Give me a nice bicep curl. Again, as always that I harp on a thousand times, keeping this upper arm parallel to the floor. Shoulders are still down and back. Necks relaxed. We're going to do four more. So four. Three, two, the last one, and then we're going to hit our triceps. So to do that, my hips are still in neutral, my spine is straight, but I'm just going to lean forward just a little bit. That booty is biomechanically going to stick back a little bit, but just make sure that we're not in this weird kind of position. So just a little bit of a hinge forward. Now when my arms go straight back, pause, bend the elbow and then kick those triceps on. So pulling all the way in, press out, feeling those triceps engage. Beautiful. All the way out, back in. Spine is still nice and straight and in neutral. Hips are in neutral. The core is on and active. Four more. And then three more. And of course, two more. And then our last one. <sighs> After my last one, we can set our props off to the side, hands and feet on the mat. We'll do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. And give me some nice cat cows. Arching my spine up and lowering it down. You know what time it is. We rock those hips side to side or whatever kind of stretch feels good for you. As I always say, this is your time to stretch out your body, give it whatever it needs. If you're a child's pose type of person, Go ahead and give me some child's pose, or if you need to just stretch it out, work it out, whatever feels good for you. So just stretch out, take this moment, just give your body whatever it needs. So now that I'm here, I'm going to practice just temporarily a bird dog. We've done it before. So I'm going to stay in my quadruped, and now if my right arm goes out, left leg goes back. And the same is true, left arm, right leg. Perfect. Because we're going to do some dancers, but I just want us to get kind of used to the idea that arms and legs are moving. Perfect. So now for my dancer, we're going to go to the right. So to do that, my left hand is going to step over right by the right. So they're actually touching. Now, my left knee is going to sneak through this opening as my right arm lifts. And then I come up kind of like a crab position. And don't worry, I'm going to do this really slow a couple times so you can see what I'm doing. So again, I'm here. Left arm comes over, thumb touches the right. Left knee comes through this opening. 
As the right arm comes up, step the left foot down, right foot steps down, it looks like a crab. And then again, come back to the start position. Don't worry, no one in your house can see you, not even me. So if these are not the most graceful dancers we've ever done, don't worry, no one knows. Okay, now let's try the other side. So again, now my right hand touches the left, thumbs touch, right knee comes through this opening as I open up and spin around and then back down and over. Don't worry, this will actually be a lot easier once we do this in a plank. Because yeah, we're doing this in a plank. Why not? Perfect. All right, let's do one more. Over, step, rotate, and then back down, over. If you need to, sink into that child's pose, stretch it out. Now because we started on this side, we're going to start on the other side, going to the right again. <sighs> Don't worry. How about this? Give me two in a plank, and then we'll call it done. So if I'm in my plank, left hand touches right. Now my left foot passes through in that opening, and then I come back to my plank. Give me one more. Step over. Step that foot wide. Back in and down. <sighs> child's pose. See what's so bad? And don't worry, one side's going to be far more graceful than the other, as you're about to see with me. So don't worry, we're all in this together. So now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to do two from our plank, and then never speak of this again. So again, I'm in my plank. Right hand touches left. Right foot passes through that opening as I spin around. Come back, step out, and down. Last one. Plank up. Right hand over, set that foot down wide, rotate, back to center, over, out, knees down, child's pose. Whoo, wasn't that fun? I love those, those are so great. But I realize I have to do so sparingly, otherwise you would all mute me. <laughs> I did those too much. Perfect, so now, we've got about five minutes left. We're gonna start, we're gonna end class standing. So I'm gonna be headless for a bit. But don't worry, it'll still be fun. So go ahead and stand on up. <sighs> Perfect. Hips neutral, core engaged, feet under hips, or if you need to, under shoulders a little bit wider. Nice and flat. I'm going to step forward just so I don't whack into the door behind me. And then again, come on down to a squat and back up. If squatting hurts your knees, don't go down as far. So stop right before discomfort and then come up. So down and up, down, and up, two more, all the way down, and up, or just before discomfort, and back up, perfect, from here, now when I squat down, pause, toes out, heels out, heels in, toes in, stand up, these are called walking squats, so out, out, in, in, and back up, so down, out, out, in, in, and up. One more. Down, out, out, in, in, and up. Perfect. Now let's add on. So squatting down, out, 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 in, 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 come on up. Squat down, toes, heels, toes, heels, heels, toes, heels, toes, come on up. One last one. Squat down, out, 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 in, 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 and up. Beautiful. Now give me a nice deep inhale, exhale, waterfall forward. <sighs> Walk those hands out. Perfect. Lower yourself down onto your tummy. Move so you can see. Hips neutral. Keep my hands under my shoulders. Legs long, glued down into the floor. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, swan up, and then down. And of course, you can swan up and down as far as it feels good for your spine. So if you want, you can always swap to a sphinx and come up a little bit if that feels better. Or for some people, it might actually feel better to do a full blown swan here. Good. 
Two more. Last one. Come on down. After my last one, now I'm going to roll onto my back. I'm going to keep my left leg bent. Right leg goes up. My hands are going to come around my right leg. And I'm just going to walk my hands up this leg as I pull it towards my chest and then walk on down. Depending on how bendy you are, you might be able to get up a little higher, get this leg to touch your forehead. Just depends. <sighs> One more, all the way up, all the way down. <sighs> Bend this knee, left leg up, hands behind, climb that tree up and pull, and then climb that tree down. Perfect. And down. And again, noticing if one leg feels tighter than the other, when a hamstring might be tighter than the other, especially if you're like me, her hamstrings are just always tight. No real reason why, but it's always kind of mad. And then we'll come all the way down. <sighs> Stretch it out, rock that head side to side. If you want, those knees can join it. We'll go side to side. Now I'm gonna bring my knees to my chest. We're gonna do a happy baby. But again, there's a thousand different versions of happy baby. So for me, I like to grab the outsides of my feet and start with my feet in prayer pose, heels touching as I rock side to side, and then slowly start to open those feet wide, extend them out to opposite walls, and kind of give myself a little bit of the splits here. If you want, you can keep rocking. If it doesn't feel good, don't worry about it. Bend those knees, bring them back in, and rock side to side. <sighs> and again, if you're super bendy, Heck, maybe you can get these toes to touch the ground. That'd be awesome. I'm not that bendy. It'd be sweet if I was. Perfect. We're just going to do two more. Again, happy baby, however it feels good for you and your body. There's no right, there's no wrong way. There's like 10,000 different versions. So whatever you're doing, I'm sure is perfect. <sighs> perfect. Now, bring these feet together. Close the knees. Bring those hands behind the legs. Use our core. Inhale, exhale, whew, roll like a ball up. Uh -huh. One last little ab thing for our day. And then all we have left is our final roll down. So we're gonna stand back up. Bring those arms up overhead. Nice deep inhale, exhale, roll forward. <sighs> Touch those arms to the ground. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your arms, shake your shoulders, shake your booty. Oh, just shake all of these, shake, 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 shake. Take one final deep inhale, exhale, articulate up. One vertebrae at a time. <sighs> and then once we're done, pat yourself on the back. You did it. Monday's workout is done. You guys did phenomenal. Especially with those dancers, those were super tricky, a lot of moving parts. I'm super proud of you for trying. Or for those of you that were just eating, you know, chips or something, watching, that's fine too. We'll get you next time. So hopefully I will see you all Wednesday at 10 a.m. for our next Matt Pilates class. Again, props optional for that class. If you don't want them, don't use them. Um, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the feedback. I love reading these after class. And I will see you all Wednesday at 10.